Panache has recorded many weddings, and each one has been different. What is seen on the video depends on the nature and the style of the ceremony itself. Generally, we record for about six hours, and this yields an edited tape of 90 minutes to three hours, mainly depending on how long the church service and speeches were. We make use of a broadcast quality digital camera to give you the best possible video quality. Most wedding videos include a little of the bride's preparations for the special day and sometimes the grooms as well. Oh no, don't take films now. Usually the video starts off with a short title sequence of your choice, which could include a scan of your wedding invitation or family crest. Here are some examples of such opening titles. Elaborate opening sequences, including series of photographs, will carry an additional charge. Following the opening sequence, the venues of the wedding and the reception are shown. then the guests arriving at the church. In 25 years time, when you celebrate your silver wedding anniversary, it'll be a lot of fun to see how your friends and family have changed. We can't guarantee this, but try to get at least one good close-up shot of every single guest attending. Then the bride arrives. 
By that time, we have already set up inside the church, and as soon as the required shots have been taken outside, the camera operator goes inside. At this point, the bride and attendants should spend another few minutes outside so that the camera operator can turn on the preset lights inside, put in a new tape to ensure that the service can be recorded without a break, do a white balance, and then signal the organist or other musician to start playing the wedding march. We try to be as unobtrusive as possible, always bearing in mind that this is a wedding and not a film set. We generally use only one light on 500, 1000 or 2000 kilowatts, depending on how dark the church is. One can shoot without lights, but that will yield a grainy, poor quality picture. Your minister should know of and approve the use of video lighting during the ceremony. The camera operator does not usually move around, not until after the ceremony when the register is signed. We alternate shots between the couple, the minister and the congregation, concentrating of course on what is happening. I want to invite us, all these sounds that we hear, and all the trees, and all beings, to witness with us this marvelous ceremony. We will begin with a question. Why get married? In be sales and be the reason that I love Jesus. After the ceremony, when the register is signed, is usually a perfect time to get good shots of the parents and attendants as well as the couple. The camera operator leaves the church while the photographer is still taking pictures in order to set up outside and be ready for the moment the couple emerges from the church. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>